in this video um, talking about how I use the golden ratio uh, built using um, this, this golden spiral using the Fibonacci sequence and uh, created in PowerPoint and then um, I'm going to show how I use it to compose a photo for a piece of art I'm doing. Uh, the PowerPoint is set up to a certain size. I set it to half the size of the art paper I'm going to be working on for my painting which is 70 by 50 so half the size of that is 35 by 25. The Bonacci sequence. Um, I'll explain a little bit more about it as we go but uh, that's the the sequence 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21 and then um, the spiral uh, in math is just double the Fibonacci sequence and I'm going to show you how that how that works and how easy it is to create um, the golden ratio uh, in PowerPoint. Don't even need to use grid lines. Um, previously I used to use the grid lines but we'll just use um, sizing of shapes for this particular uh, video. So I'm just starting with a, a square and I'm going to, um, once you've got the, the size uh, set, I'm going to set this particular size uh, height and width to 5. Always remember to lock the aspect ratio, otherwise it goes all weird. So this is set to 5 centimeters by 5 centimeters, which is part of the Fibonacci sequence. And then we're going to grab the spiral size, which will be double that. That'll be 10. So you get an arc. Grab the arc tool. I always uh, hold down shift to make sure the shape stays the same. And uh, locking the aspect ratio, make that 10 by 10. And look, you just drop it into the uh, 5 by 5 box and it's just perfect. All right, and it just snaps to in uh, PowerPoint. Lovely. So um, we'll start by creating the golden spiral. And I'll just rotate this into the right uh, spot to begin with. And the first one's always huge and uh, the paper will sort of uh, jump around a little bit. Um, just because of the size of it. So I'm going for a spiral the size of 42. 42 by 42. We'll move that down. We'll create a duplicate of it. If you want to create a duplicate of, of your last one, just press Ctrl D. And the next sequence is going to be 26 by 26. And we can just move it in and it snaps to. Look at that. You'll see the guidelines come up. It's just snap to. So we can duplicate that and make it the next size, which is going to be 16. And I'll speed this up because it's just a repetition. We're just going to go 16 by 16 and then 10 by 10, uh, 6 by 6, 4 by 4, 2 by 2, and uh, we'll have a couple of those 2 by 2s to just finish off the spiral. And you'll see. Um, in PowerPoint, you, you, once you've aligned those those shapes, they just snap together very quick and easy to get your golden spiral. And there we go. That is the golden spiral. So what I do now is um, just select them all, minus the bit of writing I had up at the top. And I'm going to um, uh, control uh, C them, and then I'm going to paste it as a picture. Sorry about the motorbike going by outside. So um, I paste it as a PNG and we paste it as a PNG because that retains the um, the alpha, the see-throughness um, of uh, when I'm going to be using that for composing against photos later on. So here's the more um, traditional just with the, um, the boxes and, and rectangles to show you the, um, the Fibonacci uh, sequence and you can use these for um, composing um, pictures as well. I tend to use a combination of this and the spiral and I'm starting off my box um, as I did before you remember in the spiral it started at 42 by 42 so because I'm doing the boxes just the sequence this is a 21 by 21 uh, size box and the next box is going to be 13 
So control D to duplicate um, a square and uh, just make that 13 and uh, click it into place. And you'll see it align with the, the other shape and um, I'll just move it across a little bit so I'm a little bit more centered. There we go. And uh, just to show you the golden ratio, the golden ratio is um, 1 times 1.618. So my 21 by 21, I just times that by 1.618, and that gives me 34. 13 and 21 is 34. So if I had a rectangle behind my uh, 21 by 21 box, it would be 21 by 34 and uh, it's just a, a beautiful little uh, sequence 1 to 1 1.618 and um, I don't know why it's aesthetically pleasing but it just is um, and I use it all the time in composition. You'll see it all the time in composition, uh, design of websites, magazines. Uh, this ratio of 1 to uh, 1.618. So I'm grabbing the, that PNG we created earlier and just drop it in on top of this. Look at that. See, it just fits in uh, beautifully. There's a, a spiral and um, I normally just make my spiral a little um, deeper in, in depth, give it a bit more width and um, you can have whatever colour you choose, of course whenever I do that then the weight changes, got to reset it. And so now I want to um, just explain how I'm going to use this in um, art composition. So um, yep, I just align my two boxes together again, two images, and uh, and group them. And I've got a a piece of art that I'm I'm about to start. And uh, the photographer who took this has done some beautiful work. I'm doing a series. It's about seven photos in the series, and I'm up to uh, the fifth one that I've chosen. And uh, perhaps when he took the photo, he used the rule of thirds um, to get everything in, in proportion. He certainly lined it up um, quite well. I just turn on the um, guidelines here, and you can see as it centers it, um, her eye and his eyebrow, all the actions happening in that space in the middle. It's just beautiful. But if I take the same size photo and drop my um, a golden ratio on top. It doesn't matter which way I rotate it, it just doesn't seem to, um, the photo is just not fitting into the proportions um, of that golden ratio. So I then just enlarge the photo and uh, crop it into the size of my um, PowerPoint and now I'm starting to see the proportions 1 to 1.618 and uh, in this in this one here I had uh, just pushed her forward and in this uh, version here I've pushed him uh, forward so he's sort of looming in on on her and this actual center point of the photo um, or, or the art I'm going to do is going to be on his mouth, but her head is just perfect there. I'm seeing a nice curvature uh, in the shape. And um, really this is, no matter where I started flipping the, um, see that was quite good. If I went back to the other photo, that's still good. Um, but to read the story of what's happening in this series of of um, art that I'm doing, this is what I chose. So that's how I use it. Thanks for watching.